Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next to. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So today is the day of CPI, the day we were waiting for. And here is the economy calendar and we can see that 10 or 59 minutes left. So my dear friends, please be careful. As we can see, the previous data was 7.7% and this time the forecast is 7.3%, the inflation rate. Okay, so if data meets the expectation, okay, then probably we will see some uh, correction on, further correction on DXY and if inflation rate okay, fails to meet the expectation and if we see a higher inflation rate, then obviously we will see DXY going up maybe okay so see market news trading is very complicated so uh, beginners new traders try to avoid taking any position during the news especially if you're in a very tight spot um if, if you do not have much money right now much capital right now and if you're an experienced trader then that's your personal call so let's get started gold study on caution ahead of us cpi fed mid gold prices were little change in early asian Trade on Tuesday as investors maintain caution ahead of U.S. inflation data and the Federal Reserve's policy decision. As we all know that market, the whole world is waiting for today's CPI and the Fed's meeting day after tomorrow. <laughs> so here's a chart of gold, 4 hours chart of gold and we can see the market is standing in the support zone we have been discussing in our previous videos. And right now market is standing, gold is standing at 1783. So the reason behind the support zone is previous price rejection previous price rejection from above around the same area we have taken support around this area so this is a support from the past so it is acting as support as well as we also have the trend line which is also providing the dynamic support to the market plus we also had the 50 moving average so if we combine all the factors and we assume that market would take support around the area and we can see that market is really respecting the support zone as of now usually we see a silent market before the news so i don't think so that market will be going for a big breakout before the news more or less we will see market trading in a range market market remaining silent only so at first let's discuss the levels before the news okay so first of all if market starts going up i'm talking before the news okay if market starts going up before the news then 1803 okay 1803 to 1808 should be our resistance for the team the chances of going towards 1803 1808 is very less but still you should know which is the resistance for us 1803 1808 is the resistance before the news as i have already uh, said in my previous videos also that we have an ascending triangle pattern here usually in ascending triangle pattern we see market breaking the resistance and going up but but before the news we are expecting the market to remain silent. So as a result, we can expect that this level will act as the resistance zone. And if market reverses, we can expect, uh, we can go for a sell position as well. But if you're already holding a buy position, if you already have taken a buy position between 1780 to 85, no need to exit from the trade, be on the trade because market should respect the support level as of now in case during the european session we see market going down market breaking the support then the next support will be 1763 to 1763 that i have already discussed in my previous videos okay this is 1763 1766 is still a very much valid support for the market and the reason and the reason is we have got fibonacci we have got Fibonacci, 23.6% retracement level, as well as we have seen market taking support previously around the same area. If this market falls before the news, then you can expect 1763 to 1766 to act as the support for the market. And if you're planning for a buy position, then my dear friend, try to avoid taking any buy position before the news. After news, okay, after news, if market breaks this level here, 
if market breaks 1810 level after the news then you can consider taking a buy position but be careful because during news we sometimes we see huge spikes extreme price rejections so please be careful <laughs> So these are the levels that should work before the news okay and what are the levels after the news okay for after the news i would i would like to mention show you one more thing here okay we have talked about the ascending triangle pattern okay yes very much we have uh, an ascending triangle pattern but this also looks like a big double top kind of a pattern isn't it so yes this also looks like a big M pattern. So yes, there is a possibility that during the news, okay, if um, DXY starts going up, then obviously we will see a big drop on the price of gold. And, and there may be a good fall as well. So as a result, if market starts falling, then your level of support will be 1736 or to around 1740. This is the next support for gold if it starts falling during during or after the news 1736 1740 is the best support for the market right now because these levels okay the levels that i have already talked okay they do not have the strength to hold the market okay so these if market starts falling then this is the level that can hold the market and in case market shows heavy drop also you can take a sell position below 1760 as well but again i'll say beginners new traders try to avoid the market during the news and especially if you have low capital right now those who are looking for a good buy position on the chart of gold you can expect a good buy position only above 1810 level maybe tomorrow day after tomorrow i don't know because after this is market nobody can predict the market we are simply traders and we need to trade according to the market situation so you can go for a buy position after 1810 level if you're a swing trader or positional trader or maybe you may get a good sell opportunity below 1860 level but as of now you just need to observe the market at each and every level and trade accordingly one more thing you should also know that december is not a good month for forex traders december is not a good month for forex trading because hardly we have 10 days left okay after 28th of december by 21st 22nd market will remain slow market will uh, get dull because market will be in festive mode christmas new year is around the corner okay so as a result hardly we have few days left in this market now let's have a look at the chart of dxy once and dxy right now standing 104.91 and on the chart of dxy what i have observed is that okay dxy has formed a more or less a symmetrical triangle pattern okay so symmetrical triangle pattern is a bilateral pattern okay so there can be a breakout yes market is simply way huh, simply preparing for a big breakout <laughs> so all the formations okay are going on so yes we may see a big breakout towards the upside or towards the downside let's wait and watch okay so please be careful um no resistance no support for dxy before uh, after the news okay before news i don't think so dxy will show some extreme or crazy move okay it is just waiting for the right time okay. and after the news no levels hopefully you got my point bye bye take care and please follow proper risk management do not gamble with your hard-earned money okay please bye bye take care